In this example, we are asked to write the given linear system of equations as a matrix equation AX equals B. Now, this is actually really simple, um, and this is actually going to lead up to us using inverses to solve systems of equations, and it can be systems in multiple variables. It really doesn't matter. Uh, so let's go ahead and start off with this. What we do is we create the coefficient matrix. So we first create the coefficient matrix and we preserve the order. So be sure that, you know, if this is your X column, this is this is your X column. If this is your Y column, this is your Y column. Okay, so if the equation is kind of transposed, so if this had said, you know, negative 6Y plus X, I would rearrange it so that you can put it in the appropriate order. If you don't do that, you're going to get uh, solving of the matrices here wrong. Uh, so let's go ahead and write that. Four and 6, and then 1, and the negative 6. Notice this is the x column, and this is the y column. The next thing you do, this matrix x is what I call the variable matrix. So this is the coefficient matrix, this is the variable matrix, and know that if you were to do this multiplication, uh, this row by this column, you'd get 4x plus 6y, and here you'd get x minus 6y, if you did the multiplication here. Okay, so this is what I call the variable matrix. And then lastly, I have the negative eight and the 12, and this is what I call the solution matrix. So the answer to this question is this right here. We don't actually have to solve it. We just write this out, and it's really quite simple. Okay, in another video, we'll show you how to go ahead and solve a system, and we're gonna make that a harder system to solve but it'll be very easy, as you'll see, just by using this approach. So this is how to write a system of equations as a matrix equation, AX equals B.